How you guys doing? Uh, today we're talking about number three in this series here of the Gary Jeffries Gator Jaw Guitar Build and today we're talking about the body. So in keeping with the whole Louisiana swamp theme, we landed on this image of a, well, a Louisiana swamp with the late day sun through moss laden cypress trees. Uh, there's an alligator swimming by here and this has been heavily photoshopped. I mean, it's much richer than normal. Uh, the alligator wasn't there. Uh, we added some things into the background. Now, this is at 100%. So what we did was take this image and we took the actual guitar body and fed it directly into a large format inkjet printer. And we printed the image directly onto the body itself. And this is 1000 DPI and it's a double hit. It means it was printed twice to rich in all the colors and things like that. Okay, this body, obviously it's a Telecaster, or Telecaster style, but it's really a Tele, down to the specs. It's uh, custom made by a company called Warmoth. They're out in Washington State. Uh, these guys are licensed by Fender, so everything is just dead on. Uh, this thing has got single coil cavities for the pickups, and it's also no pick guard on this. We wanted as much imagery to show through as possible. Uh, possible. All you're going to see are the knobs and the little three-way switch and the pickups on the front of this. So from a custom standpoint, we had to have it reverse uh, routed for the uh, control cavity. And uh, you'll notice the control cavity and the pickup cavities are shielded, maybe overkill here because heck, the pickups are exposed anyway. Uh, the control cavity, yeah, you want to you want to shield that as well and the plate for that and kind of create a box and help keep out some of the hum anyway this is one solid piece of poplar it's not it's not cut in half and butterfly it's just one solid piece and then it was treated with um, kind of a barn gray stain and maple uh, vintage maple stain and then the entire guitar was covered with about eight coats of crystallac uh, and then buffed to a high gloss and uh, if you let that, uh, Crystallac is a water-based uh, polyurethane. If you let it cure, you can buff it to an extremely uh, high gloss. So as I've said in other videos, when you're working on something like this with a theme, you never want to let up. And all the colors were chosen and the composition of the artwork was chosen uh, uh, to work well together with every other piece uh, in the package. And so with all these warm colors of the neck and the body and even, even the guitar case itself, where do you see that, man? It's just going to hang together like it was meant to be together. So there you go. That's kind of a top-line direction for the body. If you're into this kind of thing, please check me out at ConnorGuitars.com. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.